On a weekend in March of 2009, the image of a man known to many as Jesus made an appearance in the north end of New Bedford, Massachusetts, on the brick wall of a video rental store. In the week since the image appeared, a steady stream of visitors, onlookers, curiosity seekers, and perhaps pilgrims have come to this lot for parking to gaze upon an unknown artist's mysterious rendering of Christ with his hands covering his eyes. I, I thought it was beautiful. Um, I mean, I am a very re religious person and um, I have a lot of faith. I came by this morning, in fact, on my way to work, and a young lady I work with from Brockton, so that's why we came by at lunchtime, because she wanted to see. Hmm. So, um, yes, I think it's beautiful, and I think everyone needs faith right now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, faith will bring us together. I think it's beautiful. It gives me the willies. Yeah? Yeah. It's just, I saw it from the car, but I had to get out to see it. It's it's like, it just makes me feel good for something good with all the bad in the world. Yeah. It is beautiful. Whoever did it, God bless them. Yes. I think it's amazing. I think it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. The, the artist, they should do it in living col in color. The artist did a fantastic yeah, job. He did. And yes. I think he, he sent the message, the right message out. What is that message? Things God are getting. does not like things the way it's, yeah, the way it's it coming out to be. Yep. Things are not good and he's, he's sad over the way we're living and how people are today. He doesn't like what he sees in the world, I think. He's just covering his eyes and hopefully something doesn't come out of it because the way the world is, it's terrible. I think it's beautiful, especially this time of the year around being our Lenten season that we're in and, um, you know, Easter only a few weeks away. Because God sees everything and God wants to see everything. So I don't understand why his hands would be over his eyes because he wants to see what's going on in the world and he wants to protect us and he wants to take care of us. So I'm, uh, I, I can't figure out why a person would paint it with, the, um, with his hands over his eyes. I was kind of surprised, okay, that someone, you know, would do it. You know, would have the gumption to do it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it pleased me. I was ple I'm a born-again Christian. I've been serving the Lord for 35 years, so to see something like this, this is great. Well, there's a lot of ways to look at it. You know, really, when you, you could almost say, is he crying? Well, I'm sure for the what's going on in the world, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure he's very saddened by what the people are doing. And, as, you know, because Jesus Christ is all about love. Okay, Jesus Christ is all about love. And uh, how much love have we got in this world? It's nothing but destruction to each other. And I think that's sad. Very sad. As I read that word of God, let me tell you right now, we're, we're off the beaten path. We, a lot of us are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I read that word every day. I lost two sons. One got killed in a plane crash. If I wouldn't have been a born-again Christian, full of the word of God now, because of the word, I never would have survived that. And I know it. I know that in my heart. And I wish they'd put a sealer on it. I wish they would just seal it so that it would remain there. I think it's touched the hearts of a lot of people. You know, and it's made them wonder. It's made them wonder too, you know. What is he doing? Is he crying? Or is he closing his eyes to what's going on in, in the world? Is he, you know, is that what, what he's doing? So those are the two things I look at. I, I'm sure he's in tears and a lot of things that's going on. That isn't why he died. He didn't, you know what I mean? He died for the people and uh, it's a shame. <laughs>